So in this video, <coughs> we are going to discuss about different geostatistical analytical methods in graphite, especially in graphite resource estimation. See, this is important because <coughs> geostatistics uh, play a prime role at certain stage of exploration when that enough data is generated enough drilling has been conducted all that sampling are done proper analytical data is in your hand and along with that data you must have idea about spatial distribution that means borehole location okay so that you can have overall idea about the distribution of that say for example graphite or anything maybe gold so how it is distributed based on borehole spacing so spatial distribution uh, also <coughs> very much important in assessing the ore reserve or mineral resource estimation now in this context see one thing graphite is a bulk commodity <coughs> graphite it itself is a mineral mono elemental mineral there is a difference between element and mineral very simple but most of the times people often mis, mis, uh, misinterpret see ore reserve estimation ore means <coughs> either rock or mineral from which element can be extracted for example gold gold is an any uh, element but graphite is a mineral which comprises single type element that is carbon okay so our target is to extract graphite not carbon now as much as high content of tgc total graphitic carbon that carbon content indicates purity of graphite okay on the other hand <coughs> for certain ore from which element especially metallic element can be extracted that time most of the times ore terminology is used for graphite in general mineral resource like term is used graphite resource okay and especially when from that graphite resource for example it is 5 million ton resource okay that means graphitic cyst from which graphite can be extracted now graphite comprises of tgc percent you must be knowing by calculating that total graphitic carbon that part you can at least tell uh, uh, use as term that uh, reserve okay this is a subset of resource okay so there is a difference between mineral and element every time it should be kept in mind i know everybody knows but most of the times people when actual terminological usages are concerned often misconducted now Geostatistics is very important and in this video overall at a, at a glance in a simple way how different type of geostatistics how many types of geostatistical methods are there for uh, to full proof the what is of estimation how to uh, estimate that those things we will be discussing overall you can remember about four methods but that's all that is good enough. That is the use of statistics. This, if you have idea about these four uh, methods, uh, most of the things can be done. So, geostatistics, of course, provide a systematic approach to accurately estimate mineral resources by considering spatial variability and continuity. So, if we keep in mind, sometimes grid pattern, as much as possible, we, we follow during borehole. Uh, planning so because we can it will be helpful for us to conduct geostatistical studies like variography variogram modeling uh, rigging then inverse distance weighting then weighing then uh, simulation method sequential gaussian so in this video we'll be <coughs> discussing because video will become otherwise lengthy we'll be discussing first uh, variography then rigging with very easy examples and in next video we'll be discussing inverse distance weighing and simulation methods if we have idea about this four every time we'll be able to do all resource of mineral uh, or reserve estimation 
based on borehole data also. So it is very essential. And in this deep way not cell, if you see compare, variogram analysis, Krieging is subdivided into ordinary and indicator Krieging. For our purpose, ordinary Krieging is good enough, then inverse distance weighing and sequential Gaussian simulation. So these four, four uh, methods of geostatistical estimation is good enough overall. You can have a nut cell. These four methods, if you have idea, that's it. So they are having different advantages, disadvantages different case specific usages okay so let us start with variographic variogram as i will not go into detail because i have exclusive variogram and rigging related video i am just giving an exposure about the overall idea how different statistics use sometimes you must be seeing this this variographic borehole spacing if if we if we make a borehole in a proper grid pattern so every spacing is constant for, for example we have made along north south 100 meter 100 meter apart boreholes so what will be happening that that is called lag spacing here semi variance this formula if you see now i will show the data sheet you will understand better now you see sample id x y means suppose i, I am uh, seeing one single grid line line okay along for example x means along north okay zero means starting point towards further 10 meter north 20 meter north 30 meter north accordingly borehole are placed and those uh, boreholes are given average data of tgc okay so 0 to 10 10 to 20 you can see lag spacing is fixed 10 meter apart, 10 meter apart, uh, borehole spacing, a lag spacing means suppose lag spacing 10, so 0 to 10, 10 to 20, when is lag spacing 20, 0 to 20, 10 to 30, 20 to 40, like that, when lag spacing is 30, 0 to 30, 10 to 40, 20 to 50, likewise you will have to understand, okay. So calculating experimental variogram, you have understood, you have idea about, now you have understood about lag spacing. Now, let us see, when h is equal to 10, lag spacing equal to 10, so how many pairs will be possible to construct based on this, this data, see this data, 1, 2, total 10 data is there, 10 boreholes. If we consider lag spacing of 10, how many, 9? nine pair will be possible when lag spacing will be 20 how many pairs will be possible if you see here one three two four three five like was eight okay so in this way with increasing lag spacing different combination will be generated and those lag spacing from those lag spacing every time one variance you can or semi variance you can calculate now I have shown two examples for 10 meter lag spacing and 20 meter and similarly we using this similar same process just increase that lag spacing and calculate same way what will happen see let's summarize for lag spacing as I have shown for 10 meter it is becoming 0 0.036 for 20 meter lag spacing it is coming 0 0.128 similarly for 20, 30 and 40 it will become 0 0.225334 so like you now you have to construct that semi variant how this is x axis y axis in y axis you pl keep plotting semi vari uh, vari variance and in in y axis and in x axis you keep on plotting that lag spacing for 10 how how much it has come 0 0.036 this is 0 0.036 for 20 you keep value for 30 you plot this likewise base fit line prepare you see after a certain value of lag spacing it will it will not be increasing variance 
it will become straight that part is called seal because <coughs> for example as i have told ki exclusive videos are available for example we have a, a small graphite deposit so definitely it is it is beyond its dimension graphite will not be there so from center how graph so center of the graphite body how graphite content increasing or decreasing you can understand after a, a certain distance a gra graphite have no role with reference to distance graphite either will not decrease or increase because it has gone to background beyond any limit so that that range that is called range how long it can be some variance is possible to vary variance means it is a dependent thing for example my age is increasing <laughs> with increasing my age my height is also increasing okay <clears throat> so from my birth when i took birth that time my height is called nugget effect starting zero it is when birth is zero zero years but i my 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 height is not zero okay at least some minimum will be there then with increasing my age my height is increasing increasing in now after a certain age my height will not increase anymore so that age is called my range of increasing height okay but after that it will not be increasing my height will not increase similarly <laughs> so height is dependent with age similarly for graphite <coughs> mineralization grade is also dependent with reference to some distance suppose from center of the main graphite body hmm, towards north it is <coughs> grade is gradually decreasing 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 so how long it will decrease after certain distance or else towards east with distance graphite value is increasing 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 how long it will increase after have going certain range certain value peak value then it will not be increasing <coughs> correct because everything is specially related okay so if even even if we see in 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 uh, tanzania graphite is more tanzania is having a good graphite belt as we proceed from center of tanzania towards al other country then also we can get graphite graphite then after certain distance nothing so even if there is a mobile belt we will not be getting so that 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 we will have to understand these things anyway for that enough good enough video is available now so this nugget effect seal range these concepts are very important in construction of variogram this is a called variogram <laughs> so from variogram you can understand overall distribution pattern okay that distribution pattern subsequently is used in rigging analysis so <clears throat> rigging is very important to understand rigging is is mostly nowadays a software related thing because a lot of calculations are involved anyway for for easier understanding there is a make a uh, detailed understanding this there is a video in youtube i have shown that screenshot but in general you must know both the things how software do that creating process because there is a there are certain software where directly you will be getting option and they will be doing within a second rigging and will give you that uh, contouring but the theory behind that the process behind that must you understand so here is a video 30 minutes video in detail it has been elaborated it will be crystal clear now before applying rigging semi variogram modeling is often regarded as a crucial step because it quantifies the spatial correlation between sample points and that spatial correlation determines how data values vary with distance 
which directly influences the accuracy of the creaking prediction because as i told <coughs> with distance somewhere suppose grade is increasing but how long with distance infinite distance if we go you know after certain distance it will, there will not be any relationship okay so creaking involves mainly three major steps first building the semi periogram model then determining creaking weight and then estimate the value at unsampled location these things have been very well defined in earlier video also so quantify the spatial continuity then determine creaking weights and then estimate these three thing you must understand. now i will give a small example suppose uh, here if you see how to control it by software because earlier video mechanically how to do creaking exclusive discussion i have made in this video as i have i am showing now here that software for i will use uh, describe it so basic thing about creaking is to what Contouring using creaking involves creating a smooth map or contour lines that represent spatial variation of a variable across a given area. For example, graphite uh, PGC content percentage, red color, dark values. For example, some contour map you must have seen. Hmm? So easily you can visualize where that higher value is. Red color zone is higher value. That blue color is lower value. Like contouring with coloring. Hmm? So for that software, what it do? By the way, ArcGIS, Sarfar, QGIS, okay, Golden Software. These are very often used popularly for doing that creaking and contouring in different purposes, especially in mineral resource or different value zonation. Hmm? Those control. So first, you will have to input the data. So for that input data preparation. You have to properly arrange the data after collecting, then ensure the data is accurate, no outlier. Hmm? Those things you have to understand. Then software, what software does? Within a few minutes, you are getting so many information by using software. But inside software, software also does same thing. Empirically, they construct variogram using the mathematical algorithm formula directly it is you are getting result but behind the bar they are also following the same thing empirical they prepare empirical variogram by using that data then fit a theoretical model like spherical exponential Gaussian most of the times spherical variogram is very much popular and most widely used and then creating interpolation software does setting the grid, applying creaking equation, then prediction, and afterwards interpolation of the results, then draw the contour, afterwards filling with color. Hmm? So the software converts the interpolated surface into visual contour map, which can be displayed or adjusted and exported in various formats. And further you can customize, you can uh, change line styles, color gradients, leveling, those things are very easy to carry out. So see, so many things can be done at a, at a few minutes, in a few minutes. So that is the advantage of software. And, but, as I have mentioned earlier, you should know the <coughs> theory and all details, conceptual clarity must be there. So that basic fundamental you must know where to use, where not to use, how to use. Just blindly you cannot use. You have, must have idea about your data, data concentration, how data are distributed. For that semi variogram analysis is uh, software will do, but you must have under, uh, understanding on that. Okay? So, and as I have uh, told you, this video is not that much exclusive. So you can pause wherever needed and you can go through the write-up portion in this presentation. 
so thank you next video will be discussing inverse distance weighing and sequential gaussian simulation that's all these four once you have idea about these four process four techniques that is good enough for you to uh, have idea from geostatistical part for what is a reserve